different types of memberships and what they are. Once you're on your membership and retail sales page, you will see there's different kind of memberships here. The first one automatically um, goes to custom memberships. Now, if you were to come to this page, you're going to see that there's various kind of memberships. There's ongoing memberships. So once you hover over the question mark, it would give you a brief description. Ongoing membership is basically an ongoing monthly or bi-weekly membership that you create in your software by entering a client's finance data. So now this could be, you know, using their credit card or their bank account info. And um, you are creating basically a client's ongoing membership, which has no end. So there's going to be monthly and ongoing bi-weekly transactions until you go ahead and cancel this. Ongoing in-house, if we were to hover over the question mark, is creating somebody's ongoing membership without having to enter their finance data in the software. Again, this is for gym owners that like to collect cash, you know, within the gym, right, um, on monthly basis or bi-weekly basis, but they don't want to enter the person's credit card or their bank account info. Prepaid in-house is where you're collecting upfront prepaid payment in-house without having to enter their finance data in the software. So again, let's say, you know, Joseph Smith comes to your gym and you say, okay, um, here's a 12-month membership for $1,000, you know, and he gives you that amount upfront. He gives you the cash upfront so you don't have to process that payment through your software. Prepaid in software is where their, let's say Joseph Smith again, comes to sign up for one year membership or six months membership, you know, and he says, okay, here, go ahead, charge me whatever the amount is, let's say $1,000, you know, um, but I am going to ask him for a credit card or his bank account information where I'm going to deduct that amount from. So, you know, he says, here, guys, here's my credit card, go ahead and charge me. Um, the lump sum amount, right? So at that point, you can choose this membership. Ongoing limited payments are, let's say if you only want to create 10 months or 8 months or 12 months or 13 months, you have number of months in your mind. So you want to create membership based on limited number of months, you're going to be choosing this membership. Sessions is more for private sessions. So let's say, you know, if you have individual sessions that are having that you're offering, let's say um, one on ones or um, any kind of private sessions, right? You can charge them again by entering their credit card data in the software by entering their finance data could be credit card or could be bank account. Session in house again is, you know, you're creating somebody's membership without entering their finance data you're just collecting cash or gift card or whatever in-house so the key to remember here guys is that anything that says in-house are the ones that you're creating a membership however you're creating their transactions in-house anything without the word in-house ongoing in software you know limited payments sessions these are all by entering the finance data in your software.